Hey, what's up, y'all? We're back with another one. Let's check this clip out. Ronnie, I would say maybe as to be expected, you know, because he's young. He's 19 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously didn't have a tremendous college career the one year he was at USC. Uh, and he's had some tough sledding in the summer league so far. He's played three games. These are his numbers, Martin. Uh, six for 26 shooting in his three games. That's 23%. 0 for 12 from three-point land. And that poor shooting is kind of a continuation of what he experienced in college, uh, where at USC he shot 36.6% overall and just 26% on threes. So the defense, I think, has been fine. Uh, you know, we know that you don't lock down top offensive players, even if you're a great defender. Uh, Reed Shepard got the best of him the other night. And Reed Shepard, let's just take a moment. Yeah, this guy looks – I was hoping that – he was going to go to San Antonio to play with Wimby, Wimby Nyama. Uh, but they look, they got Stefan Castle, who I think looks like he's going to be really good as well. I love his talent. So they'll be fine, I think. But Reed Shepard looking really good as the point guard of the Rockets. And it is summer league. You can't get too high or too low off what you see in summer league. I've mm -hmm. seen guys look phenomenal in summer league and can't get off the bench in the NBA. I've seen guys play poorly in summer league and they end up being really good NBA players. So to your point about Bronny, you just got to, I'm not jumping to conclusions um, on this. I think, you know, a, a lot of the talk has been, he can be a good defender. If he, if you have the athleticism and the strength, which he does, right? He's not, I'm not saying he's Allen Iverson athletically, but he's a plus athlete. He's strong. You can see his body. He's well built. He's strong. He can be a good defender, and he's clearly putting forth the effort. And I used to tell this, Martin, you know, to some players in the league when I was, you know, covering it on a daily basis as a beat writer. Right. And I would say to some some guys need to, like, if you're not a star, and in fact, if you're a fringe NBA player, or maybe you're one of those guys just hoping to get in a rotation, you need to find your niche. Yep. Okay. Like Bruce Bowen found his niche. It was defense. And oftentimes that's it. Sometimes it might be rebounding. Um, but the dirty work, uh, I'm going to be a great defender. And over time, if you're a great defender and they have to put you on the floor, we see Herb Jones, Jaden McDaniels. Like we see guys like this who, who kind of get their place in the league. PJ Tucker by being very good, aggressive, hard-nosed, tough-minded defenders. Yep. And then over time, you can add the three, right? That, that corner three, add that. And mm -hmm. now you're a rotation guy and a critical one. And so I could see Bronny doing some of that. It's interesting. They clearly, like, he's not playing much point guard at all. And I get it. He's not, I guess, okay, he's not a point guard. He's the size of a point guard, though. Right. You know, and so, but they've got him off the ball, um, and he can work on his shot. Look, his dad was not – dad, obviously, on a whole nother level as a player. But his dad was not a great shooter, obviously, early in his career. And he has become a good three-point shooter. Uh, so if Bronny keeps working on it, I would think that he can improve that. And, you know, the defense is, do you want it? By all means, he's a hard worker. I was glad to see him talk about being willing to play in the G League. Because he needs to. Like, he's, I don't see him playing much, if at all, with the Lakers this year. So where are you going to get your reps? And it's going to be tough. It's going to be challenging for him. I don't expect him, Martin, to go to the G League and put up numbers. I expect – I do not. But I expect him to grow, get better as a player, uh, figure out what he can really do well, um, do well in this, you know, against professional players. But I, I and that's not look. Alex Caruso didn't put up great numbers in the G League, but he obviously became a good NBA player. So I, I'm not saying that is an indictment. I'm just saying I'd be shocked if Bronny went down there and was dropping twenty something a night or something like that. I mean, look, Bronny's talked about, and, and I give him credit, you know, for a comp, Davion Mitchell. Yep, it's a good comp. It's a good comp. Like tough little defender and can hit the three. That's what Bronny, you know. 
should at least initially aspire to. You know, you see Bronny getting cheers from the crowd, and I'm happy about that. I'm glad, you know, that he's getting treated. Looks, I mean, for the most part, I think uh, people are kind of handling him with kid gloves. Um, they know he's in a challenging situation. I don't want to make it like it's torture for him because obviously it's a blessing, right? Um, sure. He wouldn't be in the league without LeBron. Um, so I think people are taking it easy on him, trying to be patient with him. But ultimately, he's it's going to come down to, like, he's going to really have to stand on his own. Now, he does have the four-year deal or three years guaranteed, which is great for him. But at, at the end of the day, this is going to come down to, you know, him getting it done um, on his own yeah, outside I'll of LeBron. Thankful to your dad for giving you, getting you this opportunity. But now it's like I, I want to eventually – I want to stand on my own two feet, and I want to earn this, and I want to, um, you know, have people judge me on my game and not my name. So to speak. Hey, what's up, y'all? I want to thank y'all so much for tapping in with me. That was Chris and Rob Parker. They were discussing the never-ending story about Bronny James. Y'all know that Bronny James he was drafted around two weeks ago, and he had a uh, really, really bad. And they're saying that he really need to carve out his own niche. He need to be a role player. They mentioned that if you are, for example, a European player, French player, or something of that sort. You need to be able to mimic them and become a role player. And they mentioned that you can become a good defense player right now. That's not up to, you know, the standard that they want him to be because he's not an NBA caliber player yet. But they're saying that he needs to improve his defense. And one thing that I want Brian James to improve is he needs to be more dominant on the court. Because look at it like this. He has three or four years in the NBA with LeBron James. Then what? What's going to happen after that? After that, LeBron is going to retire. And he can't just rely on his father because LeBron James' star power and Clash Sports star power will definitely dwindle down after LeBron James decides to retire. So if LeBron James, if he really want to be in the league for at least 10 years, then you have to make this, you know, make these changes and adapt to the NBA league. And um, he had some, like I mentioned earlier, he had some really bad games. But his last game, he scored. But his last game, he had 13 points. And the game before that, he had 12 points. And I've, and I've not had it. So let me know what y'all think about this. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.